go. Okay, so here's more kale because I rather put more kale because it doesn't add a tang or any type of aftertaste to your thing, you know, to your smoothie. Um, here are the strawberries. They're frozen. They're from the packs that looks like this. But these are the wild blueberries right here. And I put a ton of it so our smoothie can be purple now. And it just tastes better too. Okay, so here is my favorite fruit to put in there. My bananas. They melt a little bit, but what I did to preserve them because our family eats a lot of bananas and they will not be there when you look back. Even for a day. You're like, okay, there was a whole bundle here and there's no more. <laughs> All right. And this is actually a banana and a half. That is my formula for the best banana tasting. Because you don't want too much banana, but you want enough for it to, to come up. Um, also, I use a banana, if I'm too lazy to use water, to smush it together. Because it actually, it's like a, I can't really explain it, but it makes everything smushy, basically. It makes uh, it so much easier than water. Because it's like water... Like it did, it just watered everything down. With the with the banana, it actually makes it into a smoothie consistency. That's what you want. Okay, so I'm gonna blend it. All right. I'm gonna do it one more time just to make sure. This is what I do every time. I never think that my smoothie comes out right. Cause, like I said, everybody seems to always have this perfect formula. They come out, they're like, oh, here you go, pour it in the thing, it's fine. I'm just like, no. Cause I, I like to switch it up. I switch it up every time. I, I'm never consistent with my thing, but I try to be. All right, so this is a ton of purple green smoothie. And, yep, the consistency is really good. It's really good. Usually, if I don't add enough, it's really chunky, but you want to get to about right there. Yeah. Okay, well, that is my green smoothie. So, um, you can supplement it. You can supplement it for your breakfast, especially when you put the Giovanni uh, plain yogurt in there. But other than that, you can drink it throughout the day. It's not really a, oh, you have to drink it in the morning so it can detox. I've never really heard a rule for that, but maybe there is because when you're in the morning, you haven't had anything to eat, so it's better for it to flush out your system. But then again, wouldn't you just eat it after dinner or something like that, flush out later? Um, but yeah, other than that, I am finished with my green smoothie.